Hey Jackals, so DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta version 2 is out and they have a couple of awesome updates but the one that I'll be looking today is the enhanced subtitles. So let's get to it. Now if you want to see what's new in DaVinci Resolve 18, go to blackmagicdesign.com slash support. Then you'll have DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta which is the free one and the studio version. Now the readme options are the same. So if you want to see what's new for the subtitles, this is under the media and the edit, support for TTML, XML and embedded MXF and IML subtitles, ability to view and import subtitles from media storage, support relinking subtitle clips from the media pool, subtitle region which is what I'll show you, set individual presets, text positions and intuitively edit between regions, this is debatable, add rename and manage regions, ability to import, export and embed multiple subtitle tracks as TTML. Now what I would like to see, but maybe that is just me, is support for .ass subtitle files. So to make the subtitles is the same as before, just right click here, add a subtitle track, it will show up just like this. You can change the name of it and by clicking on it you can create a caption. Now what's unique with the regions that they've mentioned is that you can right click here and add a subtitle region. You can add up to three of them. Now currently I have a subtitle and if I want to add a new one I'll simply go here, add new and this actually puts it onto the same subtitle which is not what I want. I want to put it to a new region but I don't see it. So if I want to add it to region I actually have to click here. I've enabled the mouse clicks so you can see where I'm clicking. Now I'm selecting the subtitle regions but it's not really indicative which one I'm selecting. I was expecting something like this. So the subtitle region is indicated but it's not as visible. If you look at the top you have R1 which is region 1, region 2 and region 3. Now you can also delete them and rename them. But even if you do rename it, it still doesn't show up intuitively. So now that you have region selected, you can simply add a caption. And now the second indication that I'm missing is if I change a clip color, which I can do it individually, when I make a new subtitle in the same region, it still has the default color which you can change here. So change color track, but this changes the color for all of the tracks. Now what you can change between the regions is everything that has to do with style. So you can go to the style, change the size, change the font, change the position. And if I go to this subtitle, the style is the same because it's of the same region. I'll quickly make a couple of changes to the styles. Now in this example, I have one subtitle track with four subtitles. And what you can do with this is to use the timeline method to stack subtitles. So I'll just reposition the subtitles as if the people were talking, but I won't be changing the content of the subtitle. So currently we have four people talking. So if this is something that you want, what you can do now and previously, if you had four subtitles like this, you would actually need three timelines. I can simply make a new timeline. I'll go back to timeline one. I'll simply copy this. Well, actually I only need the subtitles, but I'll copy it. Paste this inside. So I guess DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta 2 has some bugs. So let's try to do this again. So I'll just make a new subtitle track in timeline 2. But the winch resolve really should not be crashing. So let's see if I can just copy the subtitles to save myself some time. Now I was able to copy the subtitles but the style was not copied. So maybe something like that. Now I'll go back to timeline 1 and simply put timeline 2 onto the video clip. And I'll simply stack it and put it here and I'll change the composite mode to add. 
So now I actually have 8 subtitles in 2 timelines, but I would have to change the styling in the timeline too. If you do need to use this functionality, you can and it only takes 2 timelines instead of 8 timelines using DaVinci Resolve 17. So now let's take a look what you can actually do with exporting the subtitles. In the delivery page, you have the subtitle settings. You can export this as separate subtitles. I've named the subtitle track test subs, so I'll export that. And I'll just put it here as untitled. And I need to set the region, so I just export this section. Now this video should not have any subtitles because I've selected export separate file and that is the case. And if you take a look at the subtitle, as you can see this is TTML, open it with notepad. And as you can see this is some kind of an XML file. Now if I want to use it directly in the video player, nothing actually shows up. So I think this is best used to just put it onto the timeline and then burn everything in. Now if you want to use the subtitles and you want to embed them, you can use two codecs. In my test, text worked better because you didn't have any strange overlapping. So let's do that. But in this case, what you'll notice that we actually have one subtitle, which should disappear about in three seconds. I guess not. Now the subtitle was embedded, so no styling was kept. And just for the sake of it, I'll delete this one because I do want to see which subtitle actually gets put in. And I'll also change the subtitles by a tiny bit so that we see if any of the subtitles actually change. And now let's see if we have any change. So subtitle is the first one, the second one, the third one. So subtitle number two was skipped. And this is because the subtitles are overlapped. When the subtitles are overlapped, if you embed them, the top one is shown. And not only that, as you could see, all of the subtitles were displayed in the center and not as I have positioned them. So if you do want to keep all of the styling changes and burn it into the video so it looks like as it is, you'll simply have to use burn into video. So now if we take a look at this video, we'll have all of the eight stylized subtitles with the color and the position. But they are burned in so you can't disable them. Like in DaVinci Resolve 17, you can add another subtitle track. And like before, you can add up to four regions. But it's still true that you can only enable one subtitle track. So this is still not as good as I would want it to be, because if you have multiple languages that you want to embed into one video, you can't do that, because you can only embed one subtitle track. While you can export it separately, as you can see, you still can't embed it into one file. But to do that, you can use FFmpG, and I have a video on how to do that, so if you have multiple languages that you want to embed into one video file, you can do that. That's it for this video, in the next one I'll take a look at something else, but until then, like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.